7th grade open up resources illustrative mathematics unit 4 lesson 3 revisiting proportional relationships problem number one it takes an ant farm three days to consume one half of an apple at that rate in how many days will the ant farm consume three apples the information tells us that it takes the ant farm three days to eat half of an apple. And the question asks, how many days will it take the ant farm to eat three apples? In this illustration of three apples cut in half, each half represents three days. There's six halves, and six halves times three days equals 18 days. So it would take the ant farm a total of 18 days to consume three apples. Problem number two. To make a shade of paint called Jasper Green, mix four quarts of green paint with two-thirds of a cup of black paint. How much green paint should be mixed with four cups of black paint to make Jasper Green? The information tells us to make a shade of paint called Jasper Green, you need four quarts of green paint to every two-thirds cups of black paint. The question asks, how much green paint should be mixed with four cups of black paint to make Jasper Green? We need to figure out how many two-thirds of cups of black paint would fit into four full cups of black paint. Here you can see that two-thirds cups times six equals 12 over three, or 12 divided by three, which is four. So two-thirds goes into four six times. Remember that the information tells us that for every two-thirds cups of black paint, there's four quarts of green paint. So four quarts times six equals 24. That means it would take 24 quarts of green paint mixed with four cups of black paint to make Jasper green. Problem number three, an airplane is flying from New York City to Los Angeles. The distance it travels in miles, D, is related to the time in seconds, T, by the equation D equals 0.15 T. A. How fast is it flying? Be sure to include the units. Since it said related to time in seconds, the units are seconds. So this plane is traveling at a rate of or a speed of 0.15 miles per one second. So for every one second, it travels 0.15 miles. B. How far will it travel in 30 seconds? Let's multiply the bottom, one second, times 30 to make it 30 seconds, and then multiply the top, 0 0.15 also times 30, and that equals 4.5 miles. This means that at that rate of 0 0.15 miles per second, that the plane would travel 4.5 miles in 30 seconds. Take a look at C. C asks, how long will it take to go 12.75 miles? We know that the plane is flying at a rate of 0.15 miles per second. So we need to divide 12.75 by 0.15, and that gives us 85 seconds. So the plane will take 85 seconds to travel 12.75 miles. Problem number four. A grocer can buy strawberries for $1.38 per pound. A. Write an equation relating C, the cost, and P, the pounds of strawberries. We can start by making a table with pounds on the left and cost on the right. One pound for $1.38. This tells us that the number of pounds times 1.38 equals the cost. We can write the equation pounds, or P, times 1.38 equals cost, or C. P times 1.38 equals C. We can also work backwards and do the cost divided by 1.38 to get the pounds. So another equation would be C over 1.38 equals P. B. A strawberry order cost $241.50. How many pounds did the grocer order? We can look at this as what number times 1.38 equals 241.50. 
or we can look at it as 241.50 divided by 1.38 and that gives us 175. So the grocer ordered 175 pounds of strawberries at $1.38 per pound that cost him a total of $241.50. Problem number five from seventh grade unit three lesson 10. Crater Lake in Oregon is shaped like a circle with a diameter of about 5.5 miles. A, how far is it around the perimeter of Crater Lake? The circumference of a circle is diameter times pi. To find the circumference of Crater Lake, we'd have to multiply 5.5 times pi, and that equals approximately 17.27 miles. The circumference of Crater Lake in Oregon is approximately 17.27 miles. B. What is the area of the surface of Crater Lake? Remember that the area of a circle is radius squared times pi. We also have to remember that the radius is half the diameter. So if they said that the diameter of the lake is about 5.5, then we need to cut 5.5 in half to find the radius and 5.5 divided by 2 is 2.75. So to find the area of the surface of Crater Lake, we need to multiply 2.75 times 2.75 times pi, or 7.5625 times pi. The area of the surface of Crater Lake is approximately 23.75 square miles. Problem number six from 7th grade unit 3 lesson 8. A 50 centimeter piece of wire is bent into a circle. What is the area of this circle? This represents the 50 centimeter piece of wire. And this represents the circle that would be made if you bent the 50 centimeter piece of wire into the shape of a circle. Since we know that the circumference of a circle is diameter times pi, then we know for this circle, 50 centimeters equals diameter times pi. Let's solve for D by dividing both sides by pi. 50 divided by pi equals D times pi divided by pi. That gives us 50 divided by pi equals D. And 50 divided by pi is approximately 15.29. So we know that the diameter of this circle is 15.29 centimeters. This is going to help us find the area of this circle because half of 15.29 centimeters is approximately 7.96 centimeters. That's the radius. Remember, the formula for finding the area of a circle is radius squared times pi. So in this case, it's 7.96 squared times pi or 7.96 times 7.96 times pi. And that equals approximately 199 centimeters squared. So the area of this circle would be approximately 199 centimeters squared. Problem number seven from seventh grade unit one, lesson two. Suppose quadrilaterals A and B are both squares. Are A and B necessarily scale copies of one another? Explain. Yes. Since all four side lengths of a square are the same, whatever scale factor works to scale one edge of A to an edge of B. Since scaling a square gives another square, B is a scale copy of A. In this example, the side lengths for A are three times larger than the side lengths for B. You can also look at it as the side lengths of B are one third the side lengths of side lengths for A. Please support my YouTube channel by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.